Cepeda hopes to hold on to his number one ranking. And there's a look at Ricardo Cepeda, born at Santurce, Puerto Rico, now living in New York. Number one in the WBC, number five in the WBA, number nine in the IBF. And his opponent, Jose Vidal. Perfect at Madison Square Garden in the Old Felt Forum. He was 5-0 from April 1988 to May 1989. And even won the WBA America's Junior Lightweight title there over Gilio Palacio. Ricardo Cepeda wants the title badly. Here's a look at the featherweight champions. And Gil Cepeda is knocking on the door on all three governing bodies and already had a title shot, losing, losing to Marcos Villasana. Well, you know, Cepeda is a good, solid fighter. I thought he won that fight when they gave it to Villasana. And again, he's going to get another title shot, probably win the championship. So Cepeda with only one loss to the professional, a draw very early in his career to Juan Martinez. Otherwise, he has been perfect. He's 23. One and one. And he said he learned from that loss to Villasana. Many people felt that he won the fight. Well, I, again, I thought he won the fight. I thought he was the, the more accurate puncher. He had built up such a big lead. But uh, again, when you're in, it, it wasn't Villasana's hometown, but anytime you're fighting out of your hometown, you got to finish strong. And he didn't finish that strong. For the introduction of the fighters, let's go up to ring announcer Steady Eddie Darian. Madison Square Garden Boxing proudly presents Fight Night. Bob Goodman is Vice President of Boxing and Matchmaker and is approved by the New York State Athletic Commission, the Honorable Randy Gordon Chairman. The judges, Harold Letterman, George D. Gabriel, and Chick Hill. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled 10 round featherweight bout, referee Arthur Mercanti Jr. And now, my good friends, introducing the principals. First, in the blue corner, wearing the blue trunks with the white trim. He tipped in at an even 130 pounds. This gentleman has 31 wins, 7 losses, 1 draw, with 19 knockouts. He is a native of La Vega, the Dominican Republic, and now residing in the Bronx, New York. He is undefeated in five bouts during the Felt Forum days. Residing in Jersey City, New Jersey, ladies and gentlemen, here is Jose Vidal. Vidal. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the black trunks with the red trim. He weighed in at an even 129 pounds. Professionally, he has 23 wins, one loss, one draw, with 17 knockouts. He is currently ranked number one by the WBC, number eight by the WBA, and number nine by the IBF. From Spanish Harlem, New York, ladies and gentlemen, here is Ricardo Cepeda. Cepeda. Good evening, Jose Vidal. You both know the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission. I am here to enforce them. You are here to obey them. Let's have a nice clean fight. Touch gloves and touch the ball. Artie Mercanti, the third man in the ring. Once again, rules of the New York State Athletic Commission are in effect tonight. Scoring done on a 10-point must system. Three knockdown rule in effect. Standing eight count in effect. There will be no saving by the bell in any round. 10-round featherweight bout, non-title. Ricardo Cepeda and Jose Vidal. And Vidal came right out, and he's really nailing Cepeda with some good, solid punches. Vidal loves New York. He may have caught Cepeda cold because he's really nailing him. He's got Cepeda back into the corner. Another left hook by Vidal. Cepeda now trying to rebound. And Vidal lands again. All right, break! Step back. Break when I say break. So much for the idea, Gil, of loosening up. Cepeda found himself right in the fight, immediately. Well, he got nailed right away. Good, solid punches. A lot of times when you catch a guy cold, loose they go. And now Cepeda. 
trying to get right back into the fight. Vidal lands the right. And Vidal has come out like gangbusters in this opening round. Discouraging for Vidal. There's another right hand by Vidal. Has to be discouraged. You know, he's landed his back. Another one. And Cepeda's in trouble. And then Vidal. Oh, no. It's a slip. That was a lucky break for, for Cepeda because he certainly is a little wobbled right now. A little bit of trouble. Vidal he, all over Cepeda. Trying to take him out in this opening round. Another right hand by Vidal. Vidal with an uppercut. Cepeda is wobbly. He's ready to go. Cepeda's legs are rubbery. And we still have 50 seconds to go in the round. Another right hand by Vidal. Jose Vidal all over. Vidal has to say what's holding him up. Vidal with a combination. He caught Cepeda early. Cepeda's never had a chance to get into this fight. Well, if Vidal takes his time now, Lance Woods with one good solid punch, this thing could be over. Final 20 seconds of the round. And there it was. And Cepeda is still standing. No saving by the bell in any round in New York. Cepeda's got to get through the next six seconds. <coughs> Cepeda trying to buy time, and he may just do that. What a wild opening round. Jose Vidal, who used to be known as Jose Vidal Concepcion, came flying out of the corner, Gill, and never let up. Well, it seems to be that the, this ring brings out the best in Vidal. Here's the beginning of the fight. And Vidal all over Cepeda. Gill, a little bit later that round. Right on the button with that right hand. Whatever kept Cepeda off that round, I'll never tell you. He got nailed with right hand after right hand, right on the button. And Gill, you know, oftentimes Cepeda is methodical when he starts. He never had a chance here to get anything going. You can just see him wobbling around the ring. Oh, he looks rubbery there. Second round, scheduled for 10. Jose Vidal, who has not fought since September of 1990. Trying to pull a big upset over Ricardo Cepeda, ranked number one by the WBC. In the featherweight division, Cepeda trying to get his legs back. He even looked down at his feet momentarily. He 
Dow backs it made into the corner. Found another home for that right. Left hook to Cepeda's face. And the left hook by Cepeda. Forty seconds to go in the second round. Now Cepeda was checking to see if his nose is bleeding. because uh, the rules in New York State is you have to get up to go back to the corner, and McCanty waited for him to get up. Let's just take a look and see when that punch was landed. Before the bell, he hit him with a right hand right on the chin. It should have been scored a knockdown. It was not scored a knockdown. We talked to referee Artie McCanty, and he says no knockdown. Let's watch it again. Well, you judge for yourself at home, but the call by the referee is no knockdown. Well, it, it, I don't really, I think it's all academic because uh, Cepeda felt the punch and he went back to the corner. He could hardly walk, stumbled back to the corner. He's in trouble right now. He's going to take him some time to get back into this fight, if he ever does get back into the fight. And there was Which plenty of blood in his mouth. The Dow landing the combination. A big right hand and Cepeda's wobble. Cepeda in deep trouble. He can't get away from Vidal's right hand. Just about can't get away from anything that Vidal is throwing right now. Vidal looking for the big upset. And this is home away from home. Madison Square Garden in the Paramount. Another right. Cepeda is defenseless right now. Cepeda needs to buy time, but I don't know how he can do that, Joe. Well, he doesn't have a leg in the ring. He's square. It's not round. He can't run. Vidal just keeps backing him against the ropes and nailing him with punches. There's a right hand again. Vidal with the combination. Cepeda off the ropes. Vidal now should just look for one big punch. He's punch he's, he's going, he may punch himself out. Cepeda has to hope for that. Third round. You can just see that Cepeda, when he throws the punch, his legs don't hold him at all. There it is again. Jose Vidal landing at will to Ricardo Cepeda. Another good uppercut. McCanthy's going to have to take another look and stop this fight. A big oh, right hand. hand. And McCanthy One. separates the fighters. Two. Standing in, oh. Cap Cepeda goes down. Three. my friend. That's, that's it. it. Artie Mercanti says that's, that's enough. It. And Jose Vidal upsets Ricardo Cepeda. That's it. What a stutter. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. He came out from the opening bell so full of confidence, firing punches, throwing punches, and they landed. That right hand was the biggie. And another one of my ex-fighters, Benny, fighters Benny Ortiz, worked in his corner, just came over in the corner and blessed himself. I guess he figures the uh, God answered their prayers. Ralphie Correa and Benito Ortiz are delighted, but it's Jose Vidal who did the work. He has not fought since September of 1990, and he just destroyed Ricardo Cepeda, who was the number one contender in the WBC, the number five ranked WBA featherweight, and number nine in the IBF. You know, Bruce, maybe George Foreman started the trend when you lay off for a while and come back. 
seems to improve. It happened with Larry Holmes. It happened with George Foreman. Vidal wasn't out that long, but it looked like a he looked like a well-rested guy in the end, ready to go. He's 30 years of age. He's had 39 professional fights, and he comes out here and is so impressive. A native of the Dominican Republic. Here's another look at it, Gil. Oh, you can just see the punishment. Those right hands. How's the pay to manage to survive at all? He should have been out of there a lot earlier. You can see he doesn't have a leg on him. McCanty's watching him closely. There he was nailed again. And you can just see he just didn't have any legs at all. He didn't know where he was. He was being given a standing eight count, and as he went to the corner, Gil, he just fell over. He just, Bruce, he was really out on his feet. You can just see now. He, if it wasn't for the ropes, he would have continued to run right back into the dressing room. Poor kid was really getting nailed with solid punches. I don't think Cepeda ever recovered from the first 12 seconds of the fight. That's right. The first right hand nailed him. He was never the Ricardo Cepeda that we know. Watch Vidal's reaction when Artie Mercanti says it's over. Well, it's just, you know, there's always that rivalry. And the Dominicans have won. The, he's a Dominican. He won the fight. Just, you can just see the emotion. Look at look at his muscles shake. Look at his body shake. He not only won the fight, but he won it in magnificent fashion. Ab absolutely, that is the word, Bruce. Magnificent. Well, we said that he might get himself back into title contention and off this fight. You would think so. And what about Ricardo Cepeda now, Gil? All of a sudden, a, a rising featherweight who's had one title chance. It's beat bad. Well, you know, uh, Cepeda, this is a tremendous setback for, for Ricardo Cepeda. Uh, he's going to have to work his way back off if, in fact, he can do it again. Sometimes fighters never recover from this kind of a loss. All right, Ed Darian will give us the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Arthur Mercanti Jr. stops this bout at two minutes even in the third round. And a winner by a TKO, Jose Vidal. Vidal. And how about a nice round of applause for Ricardo Cepeda. A very disappointing loss for Ricardo Cepeda. Jose Vidal now 6-0 in Madison Square Garden. He wins here in the Paramount. In the past, he won at the Felt Forum. A stunner in the featherweight rank. Vidal over Cepeda. We'll be back. He knows the voice. What, what is the next one, Joe? Lopec? <laughs> wow, that's a shock, huh? What a stunner that was, huh? Wow. John? John, he was just blown out. He's, yeah. But John, doesn't he usually come out somewhat methodical? You know, he looks at his guy and he just never, he, he never could do it, yeah. John, they better side this guy up quick.
Jose Vidal over Ricardo Cepeda. Technical knockout, third round of a scheduled 10 round bout. And basically, Vidal found a home early for that right hand and there was no stopping him. After the first 10 or 12 seconds of this fight, it was clearly Vidal who was pace setting. It was clearly Vidal who was dictating the tempo. And it was clearly Vidal who was landing the punches that were punishing. Cepeda goes down and shortly thereafter, Mercanti says, you've had enough. And Ricardo Cepeda loses his second fight of his professional career. He lost recently in August of 1991 to Marcos Villasana for the WBC featherweight title. Many thought he had won that fight. And now this evening, he loses to Jose Vidal. Right now, Gil Clancy standing by in the ring. Hey, congratulations, guys. Jose, congratulations. That was just one of the best performances I've seen in years. We got a little problem with the little guy here, huh? Jose, you took that all that time off. Did you think that you were going to win this fight? Was he confident going in? Sí, yo me sentía bastante confiado respecto a que siempre me he mantenido en el gym solo, no guanteado, pero manteniendo al gym, iba dando el saco, macoteando y de vez en cuando más guanteando con los con los aficionados para mantener el ritmo. Y cuando llegó la pelea, mi entrenador Benito Ortiz se fajó porque yo me sentía confiado. Yo siempre me siento, yo digo que siempre yo soy el número uno y yo soy el mejor. He got COVID, he's going to win the fight because he's, he'd be out of the, of the fight, but he's getting in the gym. He's working in the gym, working on the floor, getting condition, getting ready. Right away, we find out that he's going to fight. And I started working our way in, and that's when we win the fight. You know, from the opening bell, you came out, uh, right out and started to throw that right hand. You found the target. Looked like you couldn't miss him with the right hand. He said that the first time he sold the campana, he was going to work with the hand right. He knew that he was going to miss the hand right. Me mantuve, sabía que con él, él era un hombre parado y con mi movimiento, él no me iba a encontrar como, como sucedió. Y yo sabía que mi derecha podía estar fácil. Rápidamente comencé a molestarlo con ella para saber que con esta manera que yo le iba a noquear a él. Dice que es un hombre de fuerza, él no mueve, él no es un él solo toma en su espalda. Y él sabe que él toma el right hand porque, you know, that's what I've been working with him. I used to be his trainer, that's what I've been working with him, but the right hand. Well, it certainly worked for you tonight. This should really help you as far as your ranking is concerned. I wish you all the luck in the world. And my ex-fighter here, Benny Ortiz, I'm very happy for you. Now let's go back to Bruce Becker ringside. Thank you, Gil. It has been two years and nine months since Vidal last won a fight. But this evening, he wins a big one over Ricardo Cepeda.